Hey, Take Heart Church, I am so excited to put this video out to let you know about what's coming up soon, the day that we've all been waiting for. May the 17th, it is Back to Church Sunday. We are so pumped to have our Take Heart Church family and those of you in the community who have hopefully been watching us to come back and let's worship together. I have so missed you guys and I am pumped to hopefully see you soon. Before we talk about what it's gonna look like coming back to church, let me just say this. If you have any reservations at all about coming back this early, we completely understand and we encourage you to stay home and watch at our online services, which are the same times at 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. We still consider you a part of our church and there is no judgment made. So if you do decide to come back to be with us, I wanna share with you in this video what church is gonna look like. We have decided to launch two services live when we come back to church for several reasons. One, it helps us keep the crowds a little bit smaller and social distance in our auditorium. The sign up process is going to be really easy and we need you to sign up for one of these services if possible. If you'll go to takeheartchurch.com, go to the events and sign ups tab, there you'll see a graphic for the 9 a.m. service and the 11 a.m. service. Please sign up you and your family so that we know what to expect for that day for each service. Our seating is going to look a lot different than it was before COVID-19. We have decided to do what we call family sections. So what will happen is when you pull up into the, into the parking lot, there'll be someone there to greet you and to let our inside team know how many is in your family. From there, they will pull seats together so that your family can sit together in close proximity, but also leave six feet between you and the next family beside you and in front of you and behind you. That way we're ensuring that we are following the social distancing guidelines put forth by our state and by our government. We're also going to have hand sanitizer stations all throughout the church, in the foyer, outside, and even in the auditorium. We want you to use those at your free will. We want you to be able to stay sanitized and stay clean as we have church together. We're also committed to cleaning the auditorium before the 9 a.m. service and immediately following the 9 a.m. service. So whatever service you choose to come to will be clean and sanitized. We're gonna have a team ready to go through and make sure that everything is clean for you and your family. I've been asked this question a lot. Pastor Josh, are you gonna require masks? We are not going to require masks, but if you would like to wear one, we do encourage that you do so. But it is not a requirement to come to Take Heart Church on May the 17th. What about kids? This is one that we wrestled with. We love our kids ministry. In fact, a, a major portion of our church is built on our kids ministry. But we decided ultimately that the safest thing was that we would put that we would not put our kids in, an, in, a, in a place where they do not understand social distancing. So for the next couple of weeks at least, we will not have a kids ministry running at Take Heart Church. We are encouraging you to worship together as a family. How are we going to do that? Well, here's what we have come up with. We have put together what we're calling kids um, uh, bags for each service. So when your child comes in and you guys get together as a family, they're gonna receive a bag that's gonna have things like a coloring book, little play toys, things that they can do to help them stay interactive and, stay, and hopefully stay quiet and, and, and engaged in the service. The next thing we're gonna do is have a kids opener every Sunday. We're not gonna neglect your kids and the awesome things they learn back here at Take Heart Kids Ministry. So the first part of every service will be a kids song that your kids can jump and dance to at their seat along with you, the parents. We're gonna ask you to engage. And then one of our kids staff will come up and give a five minute quick kids devotion that will correlate with what the message is going to be this coming Sunday. It's going to be a great way for your child to feel like they're not missing out on their kids ministry here at Take Heart. If you have a kid in service that becomes disruptive or unruly or just cannot sit still, we're gonna have several options for you. Number one is we are gonna have our toddler room and nursery room available for a quick visit. It's not designed for you to go in and stay the whole service, but if you have, say, a three-year-old, I have a four-year-old, uh, if, if my four-year-old says, hey, I, I really need to get out of here for a second, I can walk Haven back, we can go to the back room, chill out for a second, 
um, have, have kind of a break and then immediately go back into service. If you need to change your child, the nursery will be available for that. We're limiting those rooms to two families per room, one on opposite ends, to make sure that we have proper social distancing guidelines for our church. And immediately, uh, when, a, when a family leaves, immediately following that, there will be someone to come in and clean that section, preparing for the next family that may need to use it. We are also working very hard to have an FM transmitter. So if you say, hey, I don't really need to, my kid's just not being able to sit through service, you can go to your car, turn the car on, turn it to an FM station that we'll have set up, and you can listen to the service there. And of course, you can always go to your car, put it on Facebook Live, and sit there until your child is ready. We don't want, we want you to know this. We are going to embrace the chaos. So when our kids come in, they're gonna have a good time, and we're gonna have a good time together as a church family. I cannot wait to see you. We're gonna have a lot more things in place, but these are the main ones that we wanted to bring to you today on our video so that you know what to expect as you come back to church. Take heart family and take heart visitors. We're doing our best to make sure we're providing an environment that is safe for you. But I wanna say this once again, if you have any reservations, there is no shame or judgment in staying home and enjoying worship with your family online. I hope to see you soon. I have truly missed all you guys. I'm excited about what God is doing at Take Heart. So I'd like for you to go ahead now, go to takeheartchurch.com or go to your church center app and let's sign up for one of those services at 9 a.m. or at 11 a.m. on May 17th. I'm ready to worship with you.